Hey everyone, happy St. Patrick's Day, the holiday that's all about being Irish. And all about being intoxicated, although technically that's not really part of the holiday's origin. Today we're getting into the spirit by taking a look at games that glorify exactly that, getting wasted, with our list of the top 10 video games that you can get drunk in. Let the shenanigans begin. Number 10, Space Quest 1. Starting off this list is a game from 1986 called Space Quest 1, The Saurian Encounter. You play as space janitor Roger Wilco from the ship Arcadia, trying to stop evil aliens, the Saurians or Sarians depending on how you pronounce it, from getting away with a powerful experimental star generator on board of the ship. As stated by its creators, it's a fun silly game, and it starts with Roger waking up from a nap to discover that everyone on board the ship is dead, and that the aliens have taken control of it. You end up escaping from the ship to a nearby planet named Corona. Corona. Turns out if you have a lot to drink in the game at the bar on Corona, your direction keys will randomize, so you end up walking in the wrong directions. While this is hilarious, it only happens inside of the bar. As soon as you exit, it goes back to normal. And at number 9, Redneck Rampage. Redneck Rampage is a first person shooter that lets you heal yourself by collecting alcohol. There's actually a drunk meter. The more your character drinks, the less coordinated you become, although it does have the added benefit of being somewhat less affected by enemy fire. The game took the same concept as Space Quest, but to the next level. Your character becomes more difficult to use and doesn't respond to the directional keys you press. The game also becomes a bit more blurry. When the drunk meter is full, your character falls down and starts to throw up, and completely takes away the player's control, making you defenseless to attacks. After a few moments though, the character does sober up and you regain control. And at number 8, Jade Empire. Jade Empire is an action RPG by Bioware that sets you in a world based on Chinese mythology, in which you, the last surviving spirit monk, goes on a quest to save your tutor and defeat the evil forces of a corrupt emperor. One of the psychics you can recruit to aid you in your quest is a former fighter known as Henpecked Hao, who specializes in a fighting style known as Drunken Master. During combat, he'll toss bottles of wine at you to drink, which teaches you the Drunken Master combat style, and causes a whole hell of a lot of damage. But the trick is to keep drinking though, otherwise it's not as effective. Isn't that always the case? And at number 7, Fallout New Vegas. Drinking is something that's pretty commonplace in the Fallout New Vegas wasteland. There are even whole quests revolving around it, especially when Whiskey Rose, aka Rose of Sharon Cassidy, aka Cass, is around. Cass is the owner of Cassidy Caravans, and she's a bit of a hard drinker. You can acquire her as a companion through the Heartache by the Number quest, which gives you the Whiskey Rose perk. Whiskey Rose gets rid of all of the negative side effects of drinking, and temporarily amps up your damage threshold. It's important to note that you should stick to whiskey and tequila though, because otherwise the perk won't work. And at number 6, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. In this installment of Deus Ex, you play as Adam Jensen, an augmented former private security officer working with a special Interpol unit to capture a terrorist group of augmented humans. He's a man of many talents, but also a man with a low alcohol tolerance. It's fairly simple to find alcohol in the game, and players have actually noted that as the story in the game progresses, so does the amount of booze Adam has in his apartment. When Adam drinks, the world gets significantly blurry, and your vision doubles and sways. In order for this to have a longer, lingering effect though, you have to drink multiple drinks at once, because typically one drink's buzz lasts around 18 to 22 seconds. And at number 5, The Witcher 2. In one side mission called Hungover, Geralt gets his drink on in celebration with the blue stripes. As the drinking proceeds, there's a knife throwing contest and arm wrestling, and he wakes up on a riverbank half dressed with a tattoo on his neck. The mission becomes about you trying to find out what you did the night before, and trying to get Triss to help in removing the tattoo on your neck. Although, you can also choose not to. I mean, all things considered, I, I would probably get rid of it. And at number 4, Skyrim. Speaking of fantasy games and drinking challenges, Elder Scrolls Skyrim also fills those quotas, featuring a quest that occurs if you hang around enough taverns. One bar goer named Sanguevin will challenge you to a drinking contest. If you say yes and get your glug on, you'll eventually black out, and wake up in the Temple of Dabella in Markarth, the temple devoted to the Goddess of Beauty, where a priestess will give you hell for the chaos that you and Sam caused the night before. What's so great about this quest is that it sends you halfway across the map and back, causing you to clean up a series of messes that you were responsible for. I mean, if you don't talk your way out of it, which you shouldn't because it's more fun. One of those messes includes stealing a goat. Yay. And at number three, Spate. Spate is a beautifully brooding game created by former Disney and Jim Henson artist Eric Provan. It follows the struggle of one man's descent into madness due to his addiction. Combined with the haunting memories and absent hallucinations you have, you play as a character who is trying to come to terms with the death of his daughter. And 
man with his alcoholism. The amount you drink affects the way you navigate the world. And the more you drink, the more skilled you become. But the world becomes harder to traverse. And at number 2, The Lord of the Rings Online MMO. If The Lord of the Rings taught me one thing, it's that hobbits surprisingly hold their liquor well. Or at least they know how to have a good time over a couple of drinks. The latter fact carries over into The Lord of the Rings Online MMO. When you have a regular alcoholic beverage in the game, you get your typical screen shakes. But nothing compares to the results of drinking the Spring Festival brandy cakes. Not only does the world change color, but you slide around quite a bit. And you bust out into a song. If you're playing a hobbit, that is. The cherry on top? You wake up in a random location with a status effect called, huh? Where's my pants? Ah, the age old question. And lastly, in our number one spot, Grand Theft Auto 5. Perhaps the most obvious entry on this list and the most well known is Grand Theft Auto 5. There's a whole lot of vices that you can give into in the game, from narcotics and hallucinogens to strippers and prostitutes. But one of the simpler acts of substance abuse comes in the form of the liquor you can consume at bars, like the strip club, or at home in one of the three playable characters' safe houses. When the game first came out, getting intoxicated in third person was a hoot. But the first person POV feature that was released with the PS4 edition made it even more enjoyable, and realistic, and scary if you're driving drunk. Maybe don't do that. Alright, there we have it friends. Which of these games are you going to play and get trashed in in honor of St. Patty's Day? Let us know in those comments below. If you dug this video, hit that like button, and please spread the love by sharing it with a friend. If you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? And stick around for some more great gaming videos like the ones in our playlist currently flashing on your screen right now. In the meantime, thanks for watching everyone. I've been Kelly Pally and this has been Top 10 Gaming. Catch you all in the next one.